Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at the solution of second order PDE. On my uh, previous two videos, I have shown you the solution of first order PDE using Karasivitic method and coordinate method. So now we are going to look at second order given by AUXX plus BU xy plus c u y y plus d u x plus e u y plus f u equals to g okay this is my second order pde now um this second order pde there are three types okay there are three types so we have um elliptic we have um, parabolic and the other one called hyperbolic now if a given um, second order PDE you can actually determine the types of PDE by looking at all these uh, coefficient okay so, a method is called elliptic if b squared minus 4ac less than 0. And a method is called parabolic if b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. And the method is called hyperbolic if b squared minus 4ac greater than 0. Okay, it's actually important to identify the types of PDE. Now, to solve the second order PDE, what we want to do is we want to we want to transform. Okay, we want to transform the equation to a simpler form. Okay, so that we can integrate uh, using either a separable variable or any uh, simpler in integration. Okay, so this is what we want to do. So we want to transform this. Uh, we have we have our u, u x y. We want to transform equation where we have x in terms of psi and eta, and y in terms of psi and eta. So all this equation here, I'm going to call it as equation star. I want to transform to psi and eta. Okay, once I've transformed that, then I can uh, solve it pretty easy. Okay, so in order to do that, so we need to introduce our psi and eta. Okay, where our psi is my psi of xy and eta, where eta is my uh, also eta of x1 okay so we need to use a chain rule involving psi and eta okay so um, and of course uh, before we do that uh, in order for the transformation is exist uh, we must make sure that the determinant for this Jacobian not equals to zero Okay, by assuming by having that condition now we can use chain rule to find the second derivative of um, u respect to x and y okay we know earlier in our first slide um, our ux is given by partial u over partial psi partial psi over partial x plus partial u over partial eta partial eta over partial x this is to find u okay remember our u our u here consists of psi and eta okay so i can write this ux equals to u psi psi x plus u eta eta x and similarly uy it's given by partial u over partial psi, partial psi over partial y, 
plus partial u over partial eta partial eta over partial y okay where i can write this u y equals to u psi psi y plus u eta eta y okay but since it's second order since it's second order so we need to find uxx uxy and uyy okay we already found ux and uy okay now our goal is to find the derivative of x twice and y twice and then xy okay let, let's look at that okay so um how to do this so we need to use chain rule respect to x and y a couple of times okay so to take the partial derivative respect to x for ux so meaning i want to take the partial derivative to x for my ux which is u psi psi x plus u eta eta x okay now now taking the second derivative this will give me u x x now remember remember i said my x now is also depend on psi and eta okay and my x here is depend on psi and eta even and so does my y is depend on psi and eta so when we are differentiating taking the derivative respect to x means we have to take the uh, derivative respect to psi respect to x and then eta respect to x so just be careful with that now uh, taking the derivatives is kind of uh, we need to use a product rule okay so what you do here this is uh, this is u or v okay so so first what do i do i take the derivative of my u psi and then you keep this as constant and then you take take this as constant and then take the derivative of psi x okay and then similarly we have plus take the derivative of u eta by keeping psi x as a constant and then take the derivative of or take u eta as a constant derivative of eta x okay okay uh, let's do this one first let's do this one first so taking the derivative respect to x for psi will give me u psi psi but remember my psi is depend on x so i have psi x now this one i have psi x so i hope you're with me now this is not yet done because we have just taken respect to psi now eta on the other hand so we have taken the derivative of psi eta and then we have eta x psi x okay this is kind of tricky here okay remember my x depend on psi and eta so first we take it on psi and then after we take on psi we have to take the derivative respect to eta now eta is also depend on x so we have eta x okay now continuing this one okay this is a constant now taking the derivative of psi x will give me psi x x okay so this is this term here where i have given as this on the other hand this one is given by these two okay now continuing the equation the second part here okay similarly we have u eta 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 x eta x plus u eta psi psi x eta x okay now this one will give me u eta eta x x 
Okay, so there you go. So, but this is not, this is a plus sign here. So we have obtained like quite a term here. Simply find this. I have u psi 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 x squared. Now these and these are the similar terms. I have two of that. Psi eta psi x eta x. Okay, plus u psi psi x x. Plus u eta 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 x squared for this one and then last one we have u eta 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 sorry we have u eta eta x x okay this is just for my u x x now to find u y y well, I can just manipulate this, but when I see psi, I'm going to have uh, x, so I'm going to change it to y. So I have u psi psi, psi y squared, plus 2u psi eta, psi y eta y, plus u psi psi y y. Plus u eta 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 y squared plus u eta eta y y. Okay, so now we have one more term which is to find u x y. So I am taking the derivative with respect to y. For my ux here okay so we have taking the partial derivative for my ux u psi psi x plus u eta eta x okay now this term here okay you got to use the same product rule that you have said so first you gotta uh, differentiate with respect to psi and eta and then psi x as a constant and then differentiate psi x take this thing as a constant this is a product rule so i'm um, looking at this we have we have u psi 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 x psi y okay plus u psi eta i have psi x eta y plus u eta 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 x eta y plus u psi psi x y plus u eta eta x y now I also have u psi eta eta y psi x. Okay, so um, this is what you obtain when you find partially with respect to y. So what we happen here when you substitute this transformation to the second order, we will have a u psi psi plus b u psi eta plus c u eta eta plus d u psi plus e u eta plus f u equals to g okay this is the transform i'll put a star here the transform variable okay so in my next video i will show you um what this all this transform uh video actually is about okay so check out for my next video the end